Throughout the annals of history, and across the diverse tapestry of human cultures, wraith-like entities have etched their spectral presence. These enigmatic beings, known by various names and forms, have been the subjects of fascination, fear, and rigorous study for countless centuries. The origins of wraith-like entities can be traced to the ancient world. In the heart of Egyptian mythology, the Ka and Ba represented ethereal facets of the soul. The Ba was believed to retain an independent existence after death closely resembling the concept of wraiths. Similarly, the Greco-Roman world spoke of shades or souls that traversed realms, acting as guides for the departed. Across these diverse cultures, common threads intricately wove the fabric of wraith-like entities. Descriptions often depict them as translucent, ethereal figures, closely associated with the souls of the departed. While some wraiths are motivated by vengeance, others are known for their haunting of specific places, manifesting eerie apparitions, and foreboding omens. These entities tread the thin line between the ethereal and corporeal, embodying the unexplained. In the pages of history, wraith-like entities have manifested in ways both significant and unsettling. The bell which haunting, nestled in the rural landscapes of Tennessee, bore witness to a malevolent entity. Meanwhile, the Enfield poltergeist in the heart of London featured phenomena such as levitating furniture and possessions. Across the Atlantic, the Borley Rectory in England earned its reputation as the most haunted house due to its documented apparitions and eerie sounds. In response to these supernatural encounters, societies have developed protective rituals and practices. Amulets and holy water are wielded as defenses against malevolent spirits. The resonance of bells and chimes is believed to disrupt negative energies, while adhering to cultural taboos remains a potent form of protection. Throughout history, credible sources have documented encounters with wraith-like entities. The Brown Lady of Raynham Hall, captured in a haunting photograph, continues to intrigue and unsettle. The corridors of power in the White House have echoed with tales of presidential specters, leaving a mark on the collective memory. Meanwhile, the Tower of London's haunted history, the Queen Mary's nautical nightmares, and the ghosts of Gettysburg evoke a complex blend of fascination and fear. Cursed artifacts and haunted locations have plagued individuals and led to curses and malevolent encounters. The Crying Boy paintings in the UK, rumored to bring misfortune to their owners, are chilling examples. The Dybbuk Box, housing a sinister spirit, has left a trail of unsettling experiences. The Perron family's torment at the hands of malevolent entities in their Rhode Island farmhouse remains a haunting tale. As the world progresses into the 21st century, modern investigations and scientific studies illuminate the murky realm of wraiths and apparitions. The inquisitive minds of parapsychologists delve into controlled experiments and surveys to decipher the nature of ghostly encounters. They scrutinize factors such as sleep paralysis, hallucinations, and suggestibility to unravel the mysteries. Psychologists and neuroscientists probe the depths of the human psyche to understand how sleep disturbances, like sleep paralysis, can conjure spectral manifestations. Hypnagogic and hypnopompic hallucinations blur the lines between dream and reality, often giving rise to ghostly tales. Environmental factors, once relegated to superstition, now undergo rigorous scrutiny. Electromagnetic fields, EMF, infrasound, and environmental toxins are examined for their potential to induce feelings of unease or hallucinations. 
The high levels of EMF are considered as a potential explanation for the eerie sensations of being watched in purportedly haunted locations. Historical and architectural analyses breathe life into haunted houses and spectral encounters. Drafts, creaking structures, and atmospheric conditions are dissected, offering rational explanations for ghostly phenomena. Preservationists and historians join the ranks of investigators, shedding light on the secrets hidden in the time-worn walls of ancient structures. Skeptical organizations and individuals embark on quests to debunk supernatural claims. They recreate reported phenomena, scrutinize anecdotal evidence, and dissect visual and auditory recordings. Their critical thinking and scientific rigor aim to demystify the supernatural. Cross-cultural comparisons bridge the chasm of belief systems. Researchers explore the commonalities and cultural influences that shape ghostly tales. The question arises, is there a universal human experience of the supernatural, or is it a reflection of cultural expectations? Forensic experts scrutinize tangible evidence, such as photographs, recordings, and other forms of documentation, with a discerning eye. In the quest for objective truth, they sift through anomalies, seeking rational explanations. As the sun sets and the world grows dark, the stories of wraith-like entities continue to haunt the human imagination. This enduring fascination transcends culture, time, and scientific inquiry. The ever-elusive truth about wraiths remains shrouded in mystery, leaving room for wonder and skepticism alike. In the quiet corners of ancient tombs and the creaking corridors of centuries-old castles, the past whispers its secrets. Ghostly apparitions, ethereal wraiths, and spectral encounters persist in the annals of human experience. Whether dismissed as figments of imagination or embraced as glimpses into the afterlife, these phenomena are woven into the fabric of our shared history. In the corridors of academia, parapsychologists, psychologists, and skeptics labor tirelessly to uncover the truths behind ghostly encounters. Their experiments, investigations, and analyses offer rational explanations for the unexplained. Yet, in their pursuit of answers, they often find themselves entangled in the intricate web of belief, culture, and human perception. The scientific lens, sharp and unforgiving, seeks to discern the real from the imagined, the natural from the supernatural. Sleep paralysis, environmental factors, and psychological phenomena are laid bare for scrutiny. Rationality, it seems, is the beacon that pierces the darkness of superstition. Yet, the supernatural persists, resilient and elusive. It thrives in the folklore of cultures worldwide, where wraiths and spirits are not mere phantoms but entities that traverse the boundary between life and death. It lingers in the ancient structures that bear witness to centuries of human existence, where the past leaves its indelible mark. The quest to understand wraith-like entities is a journey into the heart of the human experience, a journey that navigates the realms of the seen and unseen, the known and unknown. It challenges the boundaries of belief, science, and the enigma of existence itself. As the moon rises and shadows lengthen, the world holds its breath, and the mystery of wraiths endures. It is a tale as old as time, as enduring as the human spirit, and as profound as the mysteries of life and death. Whether one is a believer or a skeptic, the question lingers, do wraiths exist in the twilight between our world and the next, or are they mere echoes of our own fears and desires? In the end, the answer remains tantalizingly out of reach, 
leaving us to ponder the enigma of wraiths and the uncharted territories of the human soul. As the ancient tales persist and investigations continue, the shadows dance, and the mystery lives on, casting its spectral presence across the tapestry of human history. The fascination with wraith-like entities and the paranormal is a timeless aspect of human culture, transcending geographical boundaries and historical eras. Across the globe, different cultures have crafted intricate narratives and beliefs surrounding these spectral beings. From the Japanese Uriai, shrouded in their white burial kimono, to the shadowy Chinese Gui with their unfinished business, these entities symbolize our collective curiosity about the unknown and our profound connection with the afterlife. The commonalities among these entities are striking. They all bear the weight of the deceased, often souls that have not found solace or have left business unfinished in the world of the living. Their pallid, ethereal appearances are a testament to the belief that they exist in a realm beyond our understanding, and their ominous connection to death is pervasive, acting as omens and sometimes instigators of misfortune. These entities are inextricably tied to specific places, whether it be the Japanese Uriai lingering near their graves or the Celtic Banshee wailing in the darkness. These locations become imbued with historical significance, serving as bridges between the mortal world and the realm of the supernatural. But what happens when these wraiths cross the threshold from folklore to reality? Encounters with these spectral beings have far-reaching psychological and emotional consequences. Fear and anxiety grip those who have witnessed their ghostly apparitions, often leading to sleepless nights haunted by nightmares. For some, the experience is so traumatic that it evokes post-traumatic stress symptoms, blurring the lines between the rational and the supernatural. The encounter with wraiths challenges one's perception of reality, causing a tumultuous cognitive dissonance. The line between what is known and what is unknown blurs, leaving individuals in a state of confusion and distress. Social isolation often follows, driven by the fear of ridicule or judgment from a skeptical society pushing those who have witnessed these entities into the shadows. Depression can take hold as prolonged fear, anxiety, and isolation erode one's sense of hope. Encounters that persist or repeat can leave individuals in a state of despair, grappling with the belief that they are being haunted. The encounter with wraiths also raises profound spiritual and existential questions about the afterlife the nature of reality, and our own mortality, leading to existential crises that shake the very core of our beliefs. The search for validation becomes a driving force for many who have encountered wraith-like entities. They seek confirmation from friends, family, or support groups, hoping to find solace in the knowledge that they are not alone in their experiences. In some cases, these encounters solidify a belief in the paranormal, propelling individuals to explore the unknown further, engaging with paranormal investigators and seeking out the supernatural. Yet, not all share the same fate. Some are consumed by self-doubt when their experiences are met with skepticism and doubt. The authenticity of their encounters is called into question, leaving them to grapple with their own sanity and the legitimacy of their experiences. The emotional impact is long-lasting, with ongoing anxiety, sleep disturbances, and other psychological symptoms casting a shadow over their lives. In this intricate dance between belief and skepticism, science and the supernatural, one fundamental question lingers. Can we ever provide concrete evidence for the existence of wraiths or similar entities through advances in technology and scientific understanding? The supernatural, 
by its very nature, exists outside the bounds of current scientific understanding. It defies the laws of physics and biology, making empirical verification elusive. While technology has empowered us with tools to document and analyze paranormal phenomena, the evidence often remains anecdotal and open to interpretation. Parapsychology, a field dedicated to investigating the paranormal using scientific methods, has yielded inconclusive results. The unpredictable and sporadic nature of supernatural occurrences challenges the replication of experiments and observations, a fundamental principle of scientific inquiry. Skeptics maintain that many paranormal claims can be attributed to known psychological and environmental factors, from sleep paralysis to cognitive biases. They emphasize the need for extraordinary evidence to support extraordinary claims, placing the burden of proof on those asserting the existence of wraiths. Science, however, remains open to the possibility of new discoveries. The pursuit of empirical evidence is a hallmark of scientific progress, and paradigms can shift when confronted with compelling data. Yet, the threshold for accepting claims of the supernatural as scientifically valid remains high. The study of wraith-like entities is not confined to the realm of science alone. It extends its tendrils into literature, art, and popular culture, shaping our collective imagination and influencing societal perceptions. In literature, Shakespeare's ghosts and Gothic fiction have long captivated readers, delving into themes of guilt, remorse, and the supernatural. Romantic artists like Caspar David Friedrich painted eerie landscapes that evoked the mysteries of the afterlife. In popular culture, Wraith-like entities are synonymous with the horror genre, fueling fear and suspense in movies and television shows. Ghost hunters and paranormal investigators have become celebrities, traversing the line between reality and the unknown. These depictions, while diverse, share common threads that have etched themselves into our collective psyche. They have not only entertained but also shaped how we perceive the supernatural and our place within it. The stories we tell, the art we create, and the beliefs we hold reflect our innate fascination with the enigmatic and our ceaseless desire to understand the mysteries of existence. Wraith-like entities, whether in folklore, encounters, or cultural depictions, offer a glimpse into the eternal dance between belief and skepticism, between the known and the unknown. Folklore and urban legends, too, play a vital role in weaving the tapestry of wraith-like entities into our cultural fabric. These narratives transcend time and borders, acting as vessels for conveying cultural beliefs, fears, and superstitions. Oral traditions pass down tales of wraiths from generation to generation, ensuring the preservation of cultural beliefs and stories. These narratives serve as explanations for unexplained phenomena or behaviors, offering frameworks for understanding the supernatural. Wraith-like entities often personify societal anxieties and moral lessons. They caution against transgressions, reinforce cultural values, and provide guidance on how to navigate a complex world. In contemporary society, urban legends have breathed new life into these narratives. The digital age has provided a platform for sharing ghostly stories, from cursed websites to haunted videos. These legends thrive on suspense and the thrill of the unknown captivating a global audience. Folklore and urban legends contribute to our understanding of the supernatural, anchoring it in the rich tapestry of human culture. They remind us that our fascination with wraith-like entities transcends time and place, serving as a testament to our shared curiosity about the unknown.
The balance between belief in race and rational or scientific explanations is a delicate equilibrium, influenced by myriad factors. Cultural and religious beliefs often lay the foundation for belief in race. In cultures where ancestral spirits or guardian entities are deeply ingrained, belief in race may coexist with scientific understanding. Personal experiences, especially encounters with wraiths, can cement one's belief in the supernatural. These experiences are often deeply emotional and challenging to dismiss, blurring the lines between the rational and the inexplicable. Skeptics and researchers provide rational and scientific explanations for purported wraith encounters, attributing them to natural phenomena, psychological factors, or environmental influences. They argue that empirical evidence should be the standard for validating supernatural claims. Media and popular culture, from horror films to ghost hunting reality shows, can significantly influence public perception. These portrayals may either reinforce belief in the supernatural or fuel skepticism, depending on the narrative. Psychological coping mechanisms play a role in belief as well. Belief in wraiths can offer comfort in the face of death and grief, providing solace in the idea that departed loved ones continue to exist as wraiths or spirits. Education and critical thinking skills can shape one's approach to balancing belief and skepticism. Those with a strong scientific background may be more inclined to seek natural explanations. Community and peer influence also impact beliefs, as social networks may either encourage or discourage belief in the supernatural. Ultimately, the balance between belief and skepticism is a personal choice. Some choose to embrace both perspectives, viewing them as complementary rather than contradictory. Others firmly align with one perspective over the other, reflecting the complex interplay between human beliefs and the unknown. In summary, the balance between belief in wraiths and rational or scientific explanations is a dynamic and multifaceted process, shaped by culture, experience, education, and community influences. It reflects the intricate relationship between the human quest for understanding and the mysteries of the supernatural. Haunted locations, steeped in legends of wraiths and the supernatural, exert a profound influence on local communities and tourism, creating a fascinating interplay between folklore, economic growth, and cultural heritage. These locations become tourism attractions, drawing visitors who seek the thrill of encountering wraiths or other paranormal phenomena. The allure of these places can lead to increased tourism traffic, benefiting local economies. The economic boost provided by haunted tourism can have a significant impact. Visitors spend money on accommodations, dining, souvenirs, guided tours, and various services. This influx of revenue supports local businesses and can lead to job creation. Furthermore, the interest generated by haunted locations often contributes to the preservation and maintenance of historically significant sites. Communities recognize the economic value in maintaining these places, ensuring their continued existence for future generations. Haunted locations are not merely tourist attractions. They are also repositories of cultural heritage. They hold rich histories and stories that become integral to a community's identity and heritage. This connection fosters a sense of pride and belonging among local residents. Communities often host paranormal-themed festivals, ghost tours, and events centered around haunted locations. These gatherings serve as opportunities for community engagement, fostering a sense of unity and camaraderie. 
Haunted locations provide a platform for educating the public about local history and folklore. Communities can use these sites to teach residents and visitors about their heritage and traditions, promoting cultural awareness and appreciation. Residents and businesses near haunted locations may actively participate in the paranormal tourism industry. They may offer guided tours, storytelling sessions, or paranormal investigations, creating a sense of community involvement and entrepreneurship. The media plays a significant role in promoting haunted locations. Television shows, documentaries, and online content often feature these sites, attracting a global audience and further boosting tourism. However, the surge in tourism related to haunted locations can also pose challenges. Some residents may be uncomfortable with the influx of tourists, and disputes over property rights and access to these sites can arise. In conclusion, haunted locations are not only places of intrigue but also economic drivers that support local communities. They preserve cultural heritage, promote education, and create opportunities for community engagement. The delicate balance between tourism and local interests requires careful management to ensure that these locations continue to positively contribute to their communities.